Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So now we are in chapter 3, Electrochemistry, focusing on the subtopic of 3.1, Galvanic Cell, part 2 of the video. So, in this video, we want to look into the definition of reduction or electrode potential as well as the standard reduction potential, where this happens at the temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, 1 atm, and at 1 molar concentration. After we've done that, we're going to look into the definition of standard cell potential where E0 cell is equal to E0 cathode minus E0 anode. On the next part, we're going to explain the operation of the standard hydrogen electrode or known as HSHE. Once we've done that, we're going to construct a potential series according to the SHE that we have learned in part H. Also, uh, by doing that, uh, we're going to do some calculation regarding the standard cell potential that we have learned just now using the E0 values of E0 cathode and E0 anode. Alright, so to start our example, let's us focus on the construction of SHE first in order to understand the reduction potential. So without any further ado, let us start. So, for the standard hydrogen electrode, it's basically made up of a platinum electrode immersed in aqueous solution of 1 molar concentration of an H plus aqueous ion. So, it can be like HCl for example. And it bubbles through with a hydrogen gas at the pressure of 1 atm and the temperature of the reaction is going to be at 25 degrees Celsius. So, the standard hydrogen electron is going to be defined as zero voltage and this is going to be used as a standard reference electrode so the standard hydrogen electrode is going to be our baseline where the standard hydrogen electrode can be connected with an metal in order for us to find the voltage okay so we're going to look at it at the next slide so for example our this our standard hydrogen electrode will be connected into copper uh, and copper acted as the cathode. Or we can use the SHE connected with our zinc where, where zinc is going to act as an anode here. Okay, and this can be used in order to find our reduction potential or our electrode potential. Okay, where the electrode potential or the reduction potential is a measure of ability of a half cell to attract electron. Okay, or in other words, the tendency for the half cell to undergo the reduction processes. Meanwhile, for the standard reduction poten potential, it's basically the same thing, but it happens at the standard condition, where it happens at 1 molar, at 25 degrees Celsius, and at 1 atm. Okay, so let's say the standard hydrogen electrode just now has been connected with a copper. The SRP value uh, for the copper is going to be positive 0.34 voltage. So copper at cathode will undergo reduction and this gives a E0 cell or the reduction potential of 0.34 voltage. However, um, the SHE where it is connected at cathode and zinc connected at anode um, will give a E0 value of 0.76 voltage. However, this is an oxidation process. So we have to change that into reduction. Okay, so we change that into reduction. So we basically flip the equation and our sign will be changes to negative. Okay, why do we need to change it to negative and why do we need to change it into reduction? Because we're going to make up a series of standard reduction potential. Okay, so as what you can see in the earlier slide, um, everything listed here is in the reduction processes, okay? So we need to change everything into reduction and we can make a list of for the standard reduction potential here at 25 degrees Celsius, alright? So that's the basis of why we are changing it into reduction. So both are in the reduction, okay? So we're going to see the importance of why changing it into reduction in the latter slide. Okay, so um, let's say the reduction potential of copper will be 
0 0.34. Meanwhile, the reduction potential of zinc going to be negative 0 0.76 voltage. Okay, so from here, you can see that at first, we connect copper to SHE and, and now we connect zinc to SHE and SHE. So we can get both of these values. But now, let's see if we connect zinc and cathode together and we doesn't know which one is more electropositive, we can look at it according to the uh, E0 cell value here. Okay, so from the electrode potential here, which is the standard electrode potential because it happens at 25 degrees Celsius, we can say that the more positive or the higher cell reduction potential here will have a stronger attraction for electron. So it will be a higher tendency, will have a higher tendency to undergo the reduction. So hence, this is going to be happening at cathode. So the copper will become the cathode and the zinc which is negative will become the anode. Okay, so instead of using the electrochemical series that you have learned in high school, where, copper, uh, where potassium, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc and so on, you can use the value here from the standard reduction potential in order to determine which one is cathode and which one is anode. So the more positive gonna be the cathode. All right. Okay. So these are the list of the standard reduction potential, and this will be given during the exam as well as during your test. Okay. So standard reduction potential, as mentioned, is the ability of the half cell to attract electrons, or in other words, to as to undergo reduction because reduction processes will basically accept electron or uh, attract electron in order to form uh, from positive to become zero. So a reduction process. So a uh, standard electrode potential or reduction potential happens at 25 degrees Celsius and at a pressure of one atm with a concentration of one molar. And as mentioned, the sign of E not changes when the reaction is reversed. However, the changing in the stoichiometric coefficient of the half cell will not change the value of E0. Okay, let's look at, at the example to further understand these two parts here. Okay, let's say you are given a standard reduction potential of the chlorine gas from Cl2 accepting two electron to form two Cl minus with the standard electrode potential of positive 136 volt. Okay, now let's say if you divide all the equation into half divided into two so as what you can see here the e naught does not change so we can say that changing the stoichiometric coefficient of a half cell reaction does not change the value of e naught all right however if we change the position for example this one going to be at the reactant side and this one going to be at the product side. So uh, we can see there here the, chine, the sign will be changes. Okay, so we can say that the sign of E not changes when the reaction is reversed. Okay, from reduction to become oxidation, the sign is going to be reversing. Now let's look at the standard cell potential. Okay, so net cell potential is basically the electromotive force of a voltage cell measured under standard condition. So just now we have measured, we have looked into two situations, right? One is zinc and one is copper. So now we're gonna look into, uh, uh, for example, this one have its own E naught at N naught, and this one gonna have its standard reduction potential at cathode. But now we want to know the total electromotive force or the E0 cell potential where we can do that by finding the difference between E0 at cathode minus E0 at the anode. Okay, the standard reduction potential at anode um, and the standard reduction potential at cathode. So SRP of cathode minus SRP at anode. For example, let's say we have zinc into zinc 2 plus which happens at anode 
This one is bridge. Copper 2 plus 2, copper solid happens at cathode. Okay? So, at first, we need to write the reduction equation for the two half cells. Because um, zinc 2 plus become 2 electron, become zinc solid. So, the E naught here, as what you can see here, equal to negative 0, 076. So, if the value is not given, you have to find this, uh, you have to find um, the equation by your own uh, in the list here. So, the list will be given in during the exam or during your classes, right? So, um, uh, we need to find for another one, which is for the copper 2 plus, where the copper 2 plus accept to electron will become copper solid, will give a value of positive 0, 3, 4. Okay, so in order to use this equation, we need to use the SRP value, standard reduction potential. So everything must come from the table here or the list here. Okay, so it, even though it undergoes oxidation, however, you need to take the um, you need to take the value from the SRP. Okay. So, for example, if zinc going to zinc 2 plus, which is oxidation, the value going to be positive, right? Because you changes the position. However, um, when you are using this formula, which is E not cell equal to E not cathode minus E not N not, you need to take the value from the table itself. Do not change the sign and so on. Okay. So now we can calculate the standard cell potential. So the standard cell potential can be calculated from E0 cell equal to E0 cathode minus E0 N0, which is here. So our cathode is the more positive one, which is positive 0, 0.34 minus our N0 here, which is negative 0, 0.76. So both are in the reduction state. In order to use this formula, need to be in the reduction state because we need to use the SRP value, okay? So once we do the maths, we will get plus 1.14, okay? Now we're gonna do another example here, okay? So at N0, we got cobalt into cobalt 2 plus, and at cathode, Ag plus become Ag, which is reduction, this one is oxidation. However, when we, when we want to use this formula, we need to ensure that both are in the reduction state. Okay, both accepts electron. So from here, you can see that uh, our cathode gonna be plus zero eight zero here because it is more positive. Okay. Okay, so plus zero eight zero minus minus zero two eight. Okay, so what we get is plus zero plus one point zero eight voltage. Okay, I think that's all for today's video. See you again some other time. Bye!